First engines or not, we are talking about the Ecotec 3 6.2 liter engine from GM. This is a member of the small block Chevy family. As GM continues to phase out the Vortec era engines, we are entering the Ecotec era of engines. And they introduced this engine in 2014. There are six different RPO codes for varying applications. I can go into that if you guys would like, but generally speaking, this is gonna be found in your Escalades, your pickup trucks, CTSV, Camaro, Corvettes, aluminum block, aluminum cylinder heads. It's a very lightweight engine. GM really had performance in mind with this engine. Uh, this engine boasts at least 420 horsepower depending on the application. They also made improvements to this engine to help strengthen up the block. They have a new steel crankshaft and connecting rods and aluminum pistons. All of these things are going to help improve torque, higher horsepower, uh, better fuel economy, and lower emissions. This engine does feature AFM. AFM is an active fuel management system. It shuts off half of your cylinders when you get to a certain speed to help save gas, increase fuel economy, and lower emissions. Now, this AFM system utilizes very specific lifters, and these lifters have been known to be defective since the release of the AFM system. I've got several videos on here that feature that collapse lifter and why it happens and what it looks like. This will also bend your push rods. This is something that GM has been dealing with since they came out with the AFM system. I do believe that warranties have been extended to cover anything that falls under the AFM system umbrella. There are also options out there to do a delete on the system altogether. Another thing to note about this engine is that it is a direct injection engine. So that means that fuel is being sprayed directly into your combustion chamber uh, as opposed to port injection where fuel is being sprayed through your intake ports. Now, when you have fuel running through your intake ports, that fuel is going to act as a natural cleaning agent for your intake ports. Since you don't have that with this engine with the direct injection system, you are going to get carbon buildup on your intake valves and in your intake ports. Consumers typically see problems starting right around 80,000 miles. Um, you, your engine will start running red. You might get misfires or a rough idle, there is no way to avoid this. Walnut blasting can help reduce all of that carbon buildup on there. The other thing is that this system relies on a uh, highly pressurized fuel pump system. So it is very tough on your fuel pump and your injector. So consumers have also reported issues with those two parts as well. Other than those two things, there really isn't a whole lot else to discuss here. Now, uh, we do hear consumers having problems with the transmissions that are made it up to this engine, but that is a whole nother video. The biggest problem I see here is that these two things cannot be prevented. It is unavoidable. It is eventually going to happen. I would be very curious to hear if there are any owners of this engine out there who have had either one of those problems.